Stephen, Glasgow Cup winners for 2023. How delighted are you with the boys out there? You, you, you listen the first half, especially the performance was excellent. We spoke to the, 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 the players kind of all week, and especially before the game, about the importance of their performance. That's kind of what we've kind of, kind of prided ourselves on this year. Um, and the performance for 45 minutes was was excellent. We kind of showed everything that we were capable of as a as a, as a group of players. Um, their intensity, their quality in possession, their willingness to run, uh, their application, their desire to impress the football. So they showed all their kind of qualities, which was great. In the second half, we kind of lost our way a wee bit. We never played with any kind of real intensity. We kind of uh, turned the ball over far too often, certainly for our liking. Um, so that was that was kind of disappointing, you know. Um, a game was like I said, a game of two halves. So in one instance, delighted for the boys because the hard work and the effort they've put in throughout the season has been terrific. And the flip side, that our performance in the second half was was poor by our standards. It was obviously quite the match out there, you know, yeah. taking that that three 0 lead before uh, being picked back and going to penalties. Obviously, that would been disappointing. But are you proud of the players for their response to that? Ab- listen, absolutely. You know, like I said, the, the, the boys have worked tremendously hard this year. They've, they've bought into everything. Uh, myself and Dan have spoke about for, since we've, we've come in in the, the, in the joint role. Um, and there's been a real togetherness within the staff. You know, we the, 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 all we've done is try to focus and give the spotlight on the players, which is what it should be. You know, they're the ones that are out there running about and, and trying to become Celtic first team players, which is, is such a hard thing to do. So our job was just to support them, and it is to try and support them to give them the best opportunity to be able to do that. So, um, for, like I said, for 45 minutes, some of their play was outstanding, and, and that's the way that they've, they've went about their business throughout the course of the season. So we're absolutely delighted for that. But again, areas to work. On, but it's been a long hard season for the players. We've got one more game to go, a friendly, and we never know what's going to happen between now and the end of the season. Like, say, if the first team after the success that, that the first team have had this year, if, it would be great if, if, if a few of the boys, then, if the manager and the first team staff feel as if that, that there's, there's a few that are, are chatting in the door, which you can see in, 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 in with some of the qualities that Ben Summers has got, he's, he's performed tremendously well. So, hopefully, there'll be a few more appearances along the way for, for some of these boys if they deserve it. You mentioned it's been a strong campaign for the boys overall. Is that just the ideal way to round off competitive games? Yeah, listen, the games programme has been really good. Um, it's the, the boys need competitive football after under 18s. We've, we've been fortunate enough to get that. Like I said, the variety of games this year in our games programme is terrific. And you can really see some of the boys have really blossomed physically, mentally, but tactically they've, they've improved. And, and like I said, the way that we play at our club, the style of football is challenging. It's going to challenge you in, in difficult places. But what we've done is the boys have stuck to their principles and how we play, which is important um, because, like I say, the, the highlight of our boys' career hopefully is not going to be one the, the Glasgow Cup, but the, the most important thing is to try and then get into our first team and try and become a, a, a valuable member in, uh, in the first team squad and then to try and hopefully become the next Callum McGregor, the next James Forrest and become a regular at, the, at our football club. We know it's a big ask, but there's certainly players that have, that have got the belief and the capabilities to do that.